welcome back to the flexbox tutorial a little announcement here so in case you haven't checked it out yet you can go to my youtube channel which is youtube.com slash the lean programmer and there check out my playlist section in the playlist section you can find the mega react tutorial so if you are new to react.js and if you want to learn react.js completely from scratch through some real world projects you can check out these playlists which is an app a month and start learning react right now i hope this will help you out awesome so let's get back to the tutorial so in the previous video we actually had a look at various flexbox axes we learned about depending on whether your flex direction is row or whether it's column your main axis and your cross axis will change this was something super important because in later on in the tutorial we won't be doing everything for both of the direction we'll be looking at the properties just for the flex direction row or just for the flex direction column but all of those properties would be just as valid for the other flex direction as well the only difference would be that the main axis will change so this is something you should keep in mind so in this video let's discuss about the flex container as i told you in the first video that the two major important things in flexbox is the knowing the fact that there are two axes and there's uh, instead of looking at your flexbox as horizontal axis and vertical axis a better way would be to look at it as main axis or cross axis the second most important thing was knowing the fact that there is a parent element and then there are child elements just like html the parent element could be made as a flex box and then its direct children will be called the flex items any of those flex children or the flex item can be a flex container or the parent element to its own children as well so in this video we are going to discuss about the first flex container property which is the flex direction majorly there are these five properties there might be a few more but all in all you are majorly going to use any of these five flex container properties so let's have a discussion about the flex direction flex direction would be very easy to understand because we already discussed this in the previous video so depending on whether your flex direction is row or column it's going to be cross axis or main axis as it's going to be uh, decided whether it's going to be horizontal or vertical so flex direction can have various prop, uh, values like row row reverse let's have a look at these values right now awesome so side by side i'll keep the final version open so in the final version we have discussed about all these properties so basically there are four properties row row reverse column and column reverse let's start building this out completely from scratch i want you to go to the boilerplate in the boilerplate as i told you in the last video that there are already uh, these boilerplate these empty code which you can start filling up so the first one is the flex direction dot html just go inside flex direction dot html and here i have already written for you that flex direction property defines in which direction the container wants to stack the flex items it's as simple as that it is going to decide in which direction is it going to place or stack the flex children or the flex items so let's start doing this very quickly i'll open the flex direction dot css in the side and split it at the right so that you can see both of these properties both of these screens here 
so let's do one thing very quickly so we have uh, this boilerplate is very very clear we have this head container we have the text center uh, and we are going to define so this header container in the boilerplate.css you can easily find out that this head container is basically what is containing all these things inside that we have a title which is going to define what property we are looking at and then we will we'll have some children or the flex items so for the first one i have already mentioned these five items for you item one two three four and five so let's have a look at these so by default whenever we talk about flex direction by default automatically the flex direction is row that is why you are seeing it like this item one item two item three item four item five so these are placed in a, a row my manner or these are placed row wise so still i'm going to do it i'm going to add these styles just to show you that these are the row icon um row uh, flex direction is row so i'm going to add flex direction as row so nothing is going to change because as i told you by default the flex direction is already row so let's do one thing let's copy and place this one let's copy and paste this one and then uh, just change the flex direction to row reverse i can add a reverse here so again this is just a class this has nothing to do with what we are going to implement we can just type something like maybe abc um, abcd something like that and then we can provide the styling so this is just a class selector don't think that just by providing this class and not defining the styles you can get your flexbox work that's not going to happen so this is just a name of the class so now if you see here we have the items tagged in a reverse manner so the main axis is still horizontal but the items are going in a reverse manner for example here the items were going from left to right but if you do it as row reverse it's going to go from right to left item one two three four and five as simple as that no rocket science here and just to keep things consistent i'm going to name it as row reverse only it's it's completely up to you the naming is completely completely up to you but just to keep things consistent i prefer it this way cool let's add two more examples which are flex direction column and flex direction column reverse let me copy and paste this as well and let me copy it again let me change the title to column and let me change the title uh, here to column reverse so let me also provide the stylings so for the column we have flex direction as column and for the column reverse we have the flex direction as column reverse so as you might have guessed in row we were going from left to right in row reverse we are going from right to left similarly in column in column we are going to go from top to bottom and in column reverse we are going to go from bottom to top as simple as that let me see why did it not uh, get changed um, something weird happened here so the thing that happened wrong was we did not provide the class selectors cool this is very very simple so this is probably the simplest property to understand and i think even you uh, got this without me telling you so this is very simple so flow flex direction is column item one item two this is going from top to bottom and then column reverse bottom to top this video got extended a little bit but i hope you got my point and i hope you understood what is flex direction Let's take a pause here and see you in the next video with another property. Bye-bye.